Hello and good morning from Santa Monica, California. I'm here at the beach. I'm uh, down here coaching entrepreneurs this week and just so excited to be back in Santa Monica with some of the most amazing entrepreneurs. We had a phenomenal week and weekend last week. Every Thursday before I coach the following week, I take what we call a gold free day. And it's so refreshing to actually discipline your mind and soul to be quiet and to just have wonderful time of spiritual refreshment, physical renewal, and to recharge for what you know is big, exciting work ahead. So anyways, that was last Thursday for me. The family was doing schoolwork. We're cranking. A lot of people are like, well, it's summer. You know what? Our seasons are all um, in flex in that we do school when it fits and it's a really great time for them to buckle down and make some gains and it's so fun to see them lock in to the subjects they're studying and really make great progress. Uh, we have a team member that's uh, moving on to a different uh, work situation and it opened up a position in our customer care department and I thought Caroline would be phenomenal for that and so I'm super excited to have Caroline sitting in with Elias on our team who's again this is his last week this week and she is learning all aspects of customer care from taking care of the phones to order entry to dealing with invoices, bill of lading, shipping. I mean, just handling all kinds of uh, business transactions and interacting with customers and interacting with other members of the team at Ceramic. And I just see her growing big time. Her eyes are open. She's like, oh my word, drink it from a fire hose. And it's so fun to see. This weekend past, my mother-in-law celebrated her 89th birthday. Janice went down Friday night and, uh, and spent the weekend with her mother and her sisters there in San Clemente. And the kiddos and I um, were able to spend some time with my sister-in-law, Jalinda's two daughters, Natalie and Holly. And so I had the, the troop, I think nine kiddos. And uh, we just had a ball together. We went down to Laguna, to the Sawdust Festival. And again, if you've never been there, if you have any curiosity around art of any kind, um, you will be satiated there. It is unbelievably rich uh, with artists of every kind and spectrum, but all done in a real family-friendly way. Just the cutest little place. Uh, all these little booths on the side of the hill, little uh, live music venues going, and art lessons for the children. And what uh, one of the highlights was doing pottery. And uh, we all threw a pot, you know, and I didn't know what throw a pot meant. Apparently it's throwing the clay on the wheel, getting it centered on the wheel, keeping it on the wheel, and then starting to shape that wet clay. What are you guys getting ready to do? Pottery. Pottery? Yeah. You're gonna make a, what are you gonna make, Bentley? Um, I don't know yet. Okay, what are you gonna make, Cory? A vase. A vase, ooh, that sounds fun. But it was interesting because it reminded me of uh, the scripture that talks about uh, the Lord being the potter and us being the clay. And uh, man, it's, it's so easy to want to jump off the wheel, to think we're done, to not appreciate the shape or the circumstances he's putting in our lives to kind of to direct us and to mold us into his image and into the vessels that are useful for his purposes. And it's you know, I see life has all these circumstances through through our marriage, through our business, through parenting. I mean, it could be financial, it could be health-wise, it could be so many things that we're going through are these, you know, pressures and this shaping, this molding that's happening. And I know at times I resist that because I want everything to be all good all the time. It's really beautiful to see when the people who are there are really crafty. Uh, and skilled at doing that work, how amazing it is to see a clay that's just a lump be turned into a beautiful vase or a pot or a mug or a bowl. And it was really, really fun. We were also able to see the kids do some scratch art where they take a, I guess it's a, like a gold or silver foil with black over the top and you scratch it wherever you scratch, the gold comes forth and makes this beautiful graphic. And I was so impressed with the 
the work that my children are artists. I guess they got a lot from their mama, you know, and it's so fun to see them create. Uh, but they did great scratch art and they did some, uh, they did some other art. We watched glass blowers and it's so amazing to see a lump of nothing become something so valuable, literally a lump of this molten glass and within like 15 minutes of, of a two person team working together become literally an item they're selling in their booth for 350 bucks and they just created it like that. And it's so interesting to think, well, wow, it's 15 minutes worth 350 bucks in that setting. And yet you sit there and go, how many years did it take for them to become skilled artists? And it's so much like that in life. Sometimes we look at the price. You know, I know people look at coaching sometimes and they're like, well, man, that's a lot to pay for an hour of coaching or a day of coaching. And you know what, you sit there and say, you aren't getting a day of coaching. You're getting, you know, 30 years of distilled experience um, of somebody that has been thinking about this subject intensely and applying it in their life and now is gonna distill it down in a few short hours. And uh, the investment there is beautiful. So really fun weekend with the kiddos there. And then we left in the afternoon and went down to the beach. And again, to one of our favorite little private, we call it our own private cove. We share it with quite a few others, to be honest with you. But it's really a special place there in Laguna and just surfed in the waves for about two hours. called Mariners and we went down there because that was a church that Mama Joy used to go to so we were honoring her and going there and and all it was so fun to uh, you know anytime I'm with believers though and I'm with people who are seeking the Lord and we may have differences we may come at our, our viewpoints from a little different perspective but I get refreshed and encouraged especially when God's Word is taught and so it was it was a good time in the morning there Anyways, we went over to uh, Jalinda's house in San Clemente for a wonderful lunch with family and just to circle up and pray and enjoy a meal together and then enjoy a walk down by the beach, some swim with the kids again. Um, just a refreshing time of family and fellowship. Celebrating Mama Joy, who I love with all my heart. I'm so grateful for the family that I married into 
and that I uh, found my bride in. Mama Joy is an absolute delight to me, and I just so honored to be her son-in-law and and just thrilled by by the whole Johnston family. Love them so much. Take it away, Janice. Share uh, what happened with your weekend. So when Chad was uh, with our kids in Laguna Beach at the Sawdust Festival, I was celebrating my mother's 89th birthday with two of my four sisters down in San Clemente, and we had a great time. We called it a girls weekend, and we did things that we enjoyed doing. So my sister Jalinda put this together. We started out with a Pilates class, which was a blast. I've never done that before. Okay, so my sister and I just finished our Pilates class, yeah. and this is the first time I've ever done a Pilates class, and it was amazing. She did awesome. You're using all kinds of equipment, and it's just fun. You have your own station with all kinds of stuff, and I feel really stretched out, don't you? Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it's Way awesome. to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo! But it um, uses strength, stretching, and um, cardio all in the same class so that was super fun and then we ate lots of good food um, my sister's a gourmet cook and she just made incredible food and we ate some things that my mother never buys for herself which is number one potato chips and number two seized candy and that was fun but we had such a good time just um, coming together and catching up on each other's lives. We live in a world that is just so busy and it's so good just to take time to just visit. And so we did a lot of visiting and we walked on the beach. Way to go, Mama My mother Dawn. is 89 Woo. and she is tearing up these hills like it's no problem at all. She doesn't take a single medication. She lives on her own down in Palm Desert and she's taking care of her older sister who's 91 and her husband. Um, down there. So she's a caregiver, drives, she is just incredible. My mother is the mother of 12 children and she has 41 grandchildren and 31 great grandchildren. My sister had us bring some of our favorites, like favorite book that we're enjoying reading, which mine right now is Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. I highly recommend that book. And um, some of our favorite like beauty secrets, some of our favorite recipes, things that we're learning. Um, so that was great to go around and share our favorites. While we were on our walk at the beach, we ran into my nephew, Hunter, and his girlfriend. And they came back to the house after being at the beach. And there we have like seven harpists in our family. I don't know if any of you knew this, but that's the way that I met my husband was playing the harp at a job down in the LA area. He was a groomsman, I was the harpist, and I guess it was love at first sight. When he saw me, I thought he was pretty cute. Um, but anyway, we've got seven harpists in the family, and I asked Hunter if he would sit down and play us a song on the harp, and he consented and played this wonderful song. I look back on with fondness and I'm really grateful to make the effort, number one, and to carve out the time. It always seems like things are always pressing and busy, but I've never, ever regretted spending time with my family. So that was, sums it up for me. So guys, thanks for joining us. Your comments each week just fuel us. Thank you so much for your input uh, into our lives, for your comments, your questions, your direct messages on Instagram. 
we are just again grateful for the opportunity to connect with you and uh, hope you have a phenomenal week. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Join us on our journey. And uh, we look forward to uh, talking to you next week. Have a good one. Bye bye. I'm going for a swim. Time to swim. Yeah, baby.